Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been filming today, hence why this t-shirt is the one that you will have seen in the Zara haul as me wearing. It's actually a H&M t-shirt and I am here today to bring you a H&M haul. So I mentioned in my Zara video that I was gonna do a is insert brand plus size sash, can't even talk, plus size slash size 18 UK friendly. So I've done Zara and I'm now gonna do H&M. As you probably may know, H&M have very strange sizing, but they actually changed their sizing. It was early last year, I think. So actually everything, if you're a, if in, if you're a UK size 14, they're actually fitting it as a UK size 12. So they've made it a bit more in line, but I haven't shopped there since they've announced this new sizing. So I'm gonna see now if actually the increase in sizing well, the change in sizing rules that they have have made a difference to their clothing because I have been in there before and I've shopped at H&M previously a lot more than I've shopped in Zara and uh, yeah I would never I would never get my own size I think I was sizing up to like a 24 and even then it was just just about fitting t-shirts and stuff weren't so bad but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the best experience. So anyway, enough of the waffle, let's just get into it. As you can see here, I have my massive box of H&M goodies for you all. I'm actually starting off firstly with this lightly ribbed top, as you, if it'll focus, it's like a light rib. And it's actually not, it doesn't dip down too much in the middle. It's actually quite a nice soft fit. I don't like any of my stuff cropped and it's a good length as well, a really good length. I've actually already worn this, so it might be a little bit dirty, but. First up, UK size 18, tick. Oh, this is a, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I thought it might have been, because they do have some sizes that are small, medium, large, but I think this is an 18. Everything I bought equivalents to a size 18 in H&M, even if it. So I thought I'd get this out of the way at the start, this is from the H&M home section. It's just like a storage bag. And I have a cat, as you well know. Uh, he's, he's hiding now because every time I film, he gets in the way. But we have a box, just literally a cardboard box full of toys for him, and it's really ugly. So I've bought this mainly to put his toys in. But I did think I've obviously got these um, blankets. And in the summer, we don't really use the blankets. So perhaps I could, I don't think it's big enough actually it's quite sizey, but to put in there, this doesn't have a price on it, but everything will be linked in the description box anyway. But yeah, it's really cute. Might have to get more of these. Like a cute beach bag as well. It's a bit heavy for a beach bag actually. <laughs> cute though. So next up I have this denim jacket. It definitely doesn't, do up but do, does anyone wear a denim jacket and actually do it up i don't think so but you know what i like the light color of the of the denim it's not too it's actually quite stretch kind of stretchy so i don't think it's like full denim um pockets here pockets here as well i'm loving this as an outfit mm. um these are my mls jeans which are on their way out if you can see that a little bit there i need to buy some more of these because they're the best dragon jeans i've ever purchased in my whole life but this denim jacket say no more love the color love the fit fits nicely on the arms it's not too long i'm a five foot two more petite i guess it's not too long on the arms a lot of stuff can end up coming to here and it's just ridiculous but it's super cute yeah Nice stretch on this. Yeah, this is good. This is a nice stretch. This is good for us, this, us plus size busty girls. Yeah, this tip keeping, yes. Something that I mentioned, I'll be at the end, of my Zara haul was how everything came in a box, but Zara was just in a tissue wrap. Nothing was in plastic where everything in here is in plastic and to be fair the box is so big I don't think it needed to be in such a big box but I think it was because I ordered the storage basket and it came flat and it was quite wide so that's the only reason why I think it came in such a big box I don't know if normally 
when you order off H&M online, it comes in a plastic bag, or whether just because it had the basket in it, that's why it was in such a big box, but I guess we'll see. Next up, we have this t-shirt which says, beautiful soul, and I myself feel like I am a beautiful soul. Uh, it's very thin material, very thin, but lightweight for summer, which is nice. The only thing I don't like about this is, oh, yes, it's not cropped, but it feels, it just feels a bit too unshapely and cropped. Like I couldn't tuck it into a skirt because it's too cropped for my liking. I love the slogan on it and I, I want to get into more slogan tees, um, but I love the Beautiful Soul writing. Yeah. It's just a shame that it is a bit shorter than what I would like. So I think on that basis, this one is a no. So you probably can't see, but I've had to put my slippers on because my boyfriend smashed a wine glass and apparently he couldn't pick up all the pieces. And I've just found some bits on the floor and I'm wearing bare feet. So I'm wearing my cute fire trap slippers. So anyway, getting back to business, I bought this top. It has a power slogan, slogan. Uh, it's in, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of like a toweling material really soft uh it's a nice length i really like the length it's quite a thick material which i think helps if it's not as long but it's a good length i think it's a really cute t-shirt the arm area it's kind of like rolled up at the side you can see that you can kind of still see my t-shirt tan um so it's actually a navy black and white stripe i do feel a little bit like cops and robbers in paris on this wearing this but I think as an everyday throw on a pair of jeans just a nice top maybe even get your denim jacket involved uh, I think this is a really cute top so I think I'll be keeping this I can't stop touching it I still don't know how it would actually wash that's a point with the colors in here if this would end up getting a bit darker in time so this is the next is it a slogan tee if it's kind of all over the... No, it's not a slogan tee, is it? It's just a t-shirt with a print on it? Anyway, this is the next one. Great length. Love the long length once again. It says Palm Springs on it. Never been to Palm Springs, but we've got the sun here and a palm tree here. It's actually in this kind of like fine beading. I'll try and get close for you. Uh, which is really nice. Sorry about my nails. Um... I like the sleeves as well. They're kind of a bit more roomy. Uh, very much a summer t-shirt. I think it'd be great with a pair of shorts for on holiday. Um, I really like this. It looks much more like luminescent yellow in the camera. It's actually just yellow. But I don't know why it's coming up so bright yellow. But anyway, yeah, I like this one. And I really like the fit of it and the soft feel of it. It's cute. Sorry. So this top is, I think it's essentially just the black version of the white top I had at the start, which is this one. Um, what size is this white one? Because this is an XL and this one I think might be a large. Let's have a look. Yeah, it feels much tighter. <laughs> I mean, it kind of still fits nice though. Even if it is a bit tighter. I think I'd actually keep it even though it is a bit more hugging. But it's kind of still, once again, that ribbed material, but obviously just in black. I'm blaming it on the packaging. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm wearing a full-on bodysuit because it's all black and black. And the blacks actually match quite well. But yeah, so just a basic tee. Didn't really need to show you it, but I thought if you're looking for just a basic tee in... H&M, this could be for you. So I'm showing you everything I've bought. So yeah, cute. And actually, while I'm here, I will show you, my hair looks dreadful today, but I will show you this. And you know, it's all the rage to have the hair bands with like the knot at the top, like so. And our red is my favorite color, hence the channel's called Rachel and Red. But I thought I'd, for when my hair's pretty straight, buy this for, oh, actually looks quite cute with my curly hair. This is annoying that this is right at the top. 
I get why they've done it, but it's also kind of, it's just like a red headband. And then this material has been like glued on the top. But it's even the one I bought from Primark, which for £2.53, actually I think covered all of it. So it's a bit disappointing, I guess, but I think it's really cute. I think it'd be really cute for summer as well. For a few quid. I think it was six and I had 20% off everything. Probably should put that as a disclaimer. Do I need to disclaim that? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll keep this for summer. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 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 I'll keep it. Just before I put this on, I want to show you. Um, where is it going? Here. So it's a wrap dress, but it has two little, so you can decide which popper to pop it on to make it tighter or bigger, which is cool. After getting really excited about the popper situation, I obviously had to put it on the bigger popper and there is no chance that this dress fits. So this one is not size 18 friendly. It's not even like I could put a bandeau in there. It just doesn't fit. And I'm really upset because it is a really nice, like, it's gonna love red. Got this really cute floral print on there. Sorry about the boobs. It just, it's gonna make that a bit tighter, but for what for? Really cute, proper summer. Like you could wear this in summer with a little slip bit here. Goes low at the back. No. Yeah, goes low high at the front, low at the back. I'm just gonna take it off because I feel like I'm exposing myself a bit too much. Ugh. So I hadn't actually realised that my camera had stopped filming, so I then showed you two dresses and looked at the screen and realised that the recording button wasn't on. And I'm so glad I've plugged my camera into a screen so I can actually see because I don't have uh, a camera that um, the viewfinder or the screen flips up. So I kind of looked over and I kind of thought, oh, it's, it doesn't say it's recording. But thankfully, I'd shown you this dress and another dress and that was it. So anyway, this dress, I really liked it. I think it's quite 60s with the red and the polka dot. Uh, I like the sleeve detailing. Uh, it's like a tied bow there with a little cut out peak bow bit. The I could probably put the top here it look okay, but I think for what for me, it's like once it's on, it goes low at the back, high at the front, but it's just my vajayjay's here and this and it starts here. It's just not covered enough. I don't think it goes round enough maybe, but those are the points I made in the first clip and there's nothing new that I can find. I do find sometimes that, what does that mean? Oh, symbols just come on and I don't know what it means. Too hot? I think it's overheating. Oh, maybe that's why it stopped recording. Okay, uh, so I'll be quick. So yeah, it's the, I find some of the wrap dress bits like it's too thin when it wraps. But anyway, it's cute, but this bit puts me off. I'd like to say my battery just died, but actually in fact, just as the camera overheated. Uh, before that, I was going to show you this dress, where I can find the sleeves. Um, which I think is really cute. It has like a cut out whole detail here. Is this the back? No, it's the front. Which, thinking about it, is this the back? No, it's the back, sorry. This is the front, uh, with, with a cute back keyhole detailing with the um, tied bit here. However, as I was putting this on, it wasn't going on. But I thought this was a really cute summer dress, leopard print. Yeah, it clearly doesn't fit even like past my boobs here. But anyway, it's not size 18 friendly, as you can tell that I'm not wearing it. Which brings me on to my next item though. Um, it's like a, I don't think it's actually linen. A linen style dress, which I surprisingly am in love with. It's just a cute casual dress, really nice and light for the summer. Uh, great for a summer holiday. You'd have to put like a top underneath here because it's just not happening. Tied to the side and actually, interestingly, it's like a tie bit here, which is quite nice because I think sometimes when it is a tie and it goes through, it just pulls in. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, cue from the back. 
there's no stretch in this it, it is very much just what you see is what you get and that's what i think i like about it um it is a bit it's a bit of an odd anyway yeah so sleeve wise roomy room room tie yep 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 yeah so this is the last item of clothing i did which i had forgotten about how long it was in here by obviously shell jewelry is all the rage and it was last summer so i didn't think it was coming back but it seems to come back with a vengeance so i bought this really cute shell necklace um i thought it'd be really nice for summer uh they did have a couple of ones but i went for the shell just a single shell i think a lot of people are wearing the bracelets with the shells all around or the, like more of a choker style necklace with the shells all around but i went for just the singular shell and i really like it i think it's really cute yeah i think they had this this in white as well but i went for the gold so that is everything that I have to show you. I can't remember how many items there were, but it was a mixture of the denim jacket, a few tops, dresses, and the bag, and the necklace as well. Definitely keeping the jacket and the tops, the necklace, the last dress I showed you that was linen styled, everything else I think is going back. So those are the most UK size 18 friendly pieces. They need to do, a bit more work on there especially the the chest area i find a lot of the time and i have this everywhere that you have to put something underneath which is a bit of a shame but it is what it is and i just have to deal with it so so thank you for viewing my video in my series of is this insert brand size 18 friendly and for h&m half and half it's hit and miss, and I feel like maybe most places are hit and miss, but Zara was more miss than hit. H&M, a bit more hit. I mean, you're swinging for the ball and you've hit a couple. The jacket I loved, the, the basic tees, things like this, work really well. The dresses are a bit hit and miss with the, the wrap. The last one I showed you was my favorite of them all. I think I might be able to buy a few more accessories from H&M. I really like the necklace and I will try it on properly. But that's it for today thank you for coming i will have more of these lined up and if you want to see more of me which i really hope you do if you want to click the subscribe button so you can see when i'm posting videos like i said hopefully every monday uh, click the notification bell so you're notified of when they're posted and i will see you next time bye